Hello, good evening everyone. So we are going to talk about broadcast, multicast, and unicast. So today we understand the network broadcast. What do we by how do I identify network and multicast? The network. So quickly before showing you lab, I'm going to give you an example. How to write broadcast in the, in the networking language? The zeros and ones. How do you write the address, broadcast address in in zeros and ones? So tell me, zero means what? Tell me here. Yeah. Off. Yes. So, oh, and one on. means on. on. If I am telling you broadcast or broadcast means what all on always we do the four pairs means two pair we take eight bits yes or not yes or no yes okay so this is called all is on means everyone can able to listen this is called broadcast. So what is the value of this? What is the value of this? 250. How do you represent in IP? We represent IP in 4 octet. Means broadcast in networks. The IP address is 255. dot this is called broadcast address in the, in the language of network language of ip same way we're going to study um, regarding multicast multicast i will going to I, i'm going to take the while i'm going to start to the class A, class B, class C subnetting. I will come back on multicast. I will show you. But you just remember the multicast range start from two to four. The IP start from two to four. That's belong to multicast. So broadcast is this. Multicast is this. Rest all class a and class a b c don't worry i'm going to discuss the upcoming classes what do make class a class b class c just all are unicast what is called unica we will do lab means any ip this if you see that broadcast any ip start from two to four that's called multicast rest all ip belong to unicast here yes okay let's do lab and then we'll so we're going to explore so we're going to do the basic very basic lab to understand this and we're going to later on in upcoming classes we will connect broadcast multicast and broadcast. in every lab we will discuss this is the three picture this is three fundamental concept you so i'm going to select the one device switch the switch model is 2960 model this is model so always i will write my host name with the model so that you can prepare for your interview so this is the 2960 model so i'm going to config this display the host name as a 20 2960 switch i will write switch 2900 okay all i can write 960 switch model model name is 2960 then switch one clear guys intensely so that you can remember the models they will ask you in interview what model you have worked and which model you are comfortable so you're going to say 
I I worked on twenty nine hundred sheet. Okay, clear, guys. Why do I write this? Yes, no. Okay. So this is. I took one switch twenty nine sixty switch, and I'm going to take complete my lab four pieces. Can take four or five number of PC. Just I want to the lab broadcast and multicast and unicast. Okay, so let's select the connector. So this time, because to switch to PC, they are two different. So which type of connector we going to connect on? And Santanu also already study about this. This is the called straight through. What is called straight through cable because those devices are different. So we going to use what straight through. This, if you can see, this is the showing green, and the other side showing the what amber. So once it will become green, means it's going to start working. Why it take time? That is due to the spanning tree protocol. What is called a spanning tree protocol? That is called HTP in the short. But don't worry, we have dedicated classes for a spanning tree protocol. We have multiple classes we're going to study. We're going to become the expert in the upcoming classes. But today we're going to concentrate on our broadcast multicast. So after connecting everything green, you have to wait to get green connect. Can you able to see all are green? Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 Now, okay. On the right at the bottom, if you are able to see my cursor, here there's called real time and simulation. Are you able to see the two tab that is called real time simulation? Are you able to at the yeah. bottom, top down bottom? Yes, 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 yes. everyone yes sir yeah. yes so it's a real time yes. now if i click the simulation the pop-up here going to be pop-up little bit what pop-up this going to show you so this says that real time now of the simulation is started means it says that what activity going to be happened on the this wire on this wire we are not able to see right in real time can i able to see what is going on inside the wire no, no. So how do i see in real time there is a debugger or there is a packet tracer which which debug the packet and they're going to show you the capture we have we will see those part later on but today we have very basic tool inbuilt with this tool that give what going on the packet level okay what going on the packet level here yes or no understand what going on this packet because yeah. this switch going to communicate with this pc this pc this PC going to communicate with this PC. So something going on on the packing on this wire or not? Yes, sir. Yes. yes, yes. So even though I do I have done anything? No. no. Even though it's automatic become green. Someone working behind. As soon as I connect the wire. So something is working on the box. What are the those things? That is we did not do anything. Just we connect and something is started working. How do I know? What are the things working without knowing things? Suppose you are sleeping. So tell me your body is working or not? Yes. Yes. You are sleeping. So your heartbeat is continue working. Blood is working. Everything. All the working. Okay. Same way. You are not doing anything in network even though there is something is going to manage those networks so i'm going to see what is going on that so i'm going to switch on simulation 
and can you see this is three tab here everyone yes yes so we have to click the middle one that is called play once you play we're going to see on this screen so many so many information going to pop up so we will try to understand those information and that is called nothing that is called events can you see event yes. list this events out of this events if any of this events is running on so it's going to show you so what are the events we have we have this many topic please copy i'm going to teach you all these throughout the ccn going to study all these topic throughout the ccn just you copy mm -hmm. And paste in your resume, you will see how many calls you're going to receive. So I'm going to make you export all this. So I'm going to switch on now. Ah, as soon as I switch on, you can see the so many things started. Can you tell me what what is happening here? Are you able to read those logs or not? Yes, there are some packets are going on no? okay excellent some packets moving from switch to pc and they, they, they're trying to get some information in the different color earlier it was pink now it's a red so red having different name so pink having http spinning tree protocol dtp dynamic trunking protocol don't worry, today you first time heard, but we're going to do the lab on that. So you can see there is a STP, the PC to switch. Switch to PC1, switch to PC3, switch to PC2. Can you be able to see? Yes. Yes. <coughs> wow. If you understand this part, these are the packet. And now I can see the another packet having another color that's red. That's DTP. UTP from switch to PC1. Can you be able to see that? Now I want to study this packet. So I want to stop this. What I will do? I will click. I switch off. Yes. Okay. Now after switching off, the packet stopped. Now I have to study. So I can drag and drop this many packets we have. So let's open one by one packet and try to understand what happening. So I'm opening the packet. The first packet initiated by the switch. Can you see that? Yes, I will yes. click here on the STP and I will double click. So this packet is open. This is called OSI model, OSI layer. Do you remember why I teach you OSI yes. layer? Layer one to seven. Yes. 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 Now let's understand on the top of this add device host name this source. Who is the source? Switch. Switch. Thank you. Who is the destination? Four PC. HTTP multicart multicart address. Address. Wow. We got the lab means you have one example for multicast a spinning tree protocol by default they send the message on multicast but so what will... multicast address layer Hello. 2 multicast address, not layer 3 because you can see layer 3 nothing is there Hello. so this is called multicast 0180C200. So, sir, I don't understand what do you mean by C. So, there is something called physical back address. I will come to on the address. Just today, you see how the packet looks like. And this packet says that the name is called LLC. Forget about LLC. I will tell you the Mac sub layer that called Mac layer and LLC layer. This is a link logic 
layer who is going to communicate with the layer 3 okay he is the responsible LLC is a resp responsible to connect layer 3 okay so I'm not going to um, worry about this I will I will come on the that layer in detail we will talk about that is called HTTP BPDU so BPDU is the multicast packet every two second is going to send the network and what he tried to understand he tried to understand anyone available on this so let's do again so this is a multicast address do you remember what is the multicast example I gave you speaking French so those who understand French that person only able to reply or not or acknowledge tell me yes or yes 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 so let me again switch on so he's sending French he's sending BPD what they are doing what they are doing they are not replying no, sir. no they are drop this packet can you see cross yeah, yeah yeah they are telling I don't understand what you are sending yes yes sir. so this switch searching for another switch in the network there is any other switch so he is speaking the language the language understand by them by whom by switch only okay we are going to study the switching then you will understand I am going to make you understand what do mean by BPDU every switch send every two second BPDU to identify another switch in the network and that is called multicast and this multicast language multicast address can be responsible by the another switch so in in this network there is no switch there is any other switch yes. no, no. no so you understand same way they are not able to reply DTP DTP let's see what is DTP DTP is also multicast I'm going to see them. DTP. DTP also say that no, I'm not a multicast. What is that? DTP unicast because source and destination are defined. No. Tell me. Yes, I yes. You saw that. These are the dropping because this multicast, but this is unicast, but unicast also is searching for the particular behavior switch. Okay. Now this is called CDP. Let me enable CDP here. I'm going to switch off this. I'm going to come to real time and I will enable CDP. That's I want to show you the broadcast okay so i'm configure p so this is called privilege mode has is nothing privilege mode config t configure terminal this give you the config has mode convert into the config mode now here i will enable cdp run cdp run and is found okay gdp run is now i'm running with the cdp so ip cdp neighbor sorry not i so cdp neighbor i did not see anything but he will generate the packet for CDP. CDP is nothing, is a protocol. So I'm going to simulation is on and let's see he is able to send CDP packet or not. DTP and I did not see the CDP generate 
going to run the so CDP or I will I will waiting for generating CDP generating DT to debug going to support debugs and no works so there's a limitation if you see here DTP packet that is going to be broadcast okay that going to be broadcast okay leave it I'm not going to do for CDP but we have ARP so I'm going to another example I'm going to use, the protocol called ARP so what I will do how do are going to generate if I will configure the IP address so I'm going to configure the IP address here always remember and do the same thing you follow in the lab what you going to do the practice so are you able to see my CLI command the career yes visible for you yes. guys yes no yes yes okay now let's I'm going to give the IP address of this what you called the switch so that he can communicate to others he can generate the ARP so so there is a command called I will check where do I give the name of this so ISO IP interface brief please remember this command so IP interface brief click here you can see at the end you have VLAN so all the interface at the end of the output you can see VLAN is a virtual LAN I will teach you later on what is the virtual LAN in detail but for today lab to understand the CDP broadcast so just I want to configure this config terminal interface vlan1 interface vlan1 then i will assign the ip address 192.168.1.100 just i given one ip address with the followed with the subnet mask to 5.25. dot that is called slash 24 and I will do no cert. No cert means you make interface up. So you can see now interface is up. Time protocol is up. How do I verify? Just use the same command. So IP interface brief. So now my interface up. Can you see? Up. So what I will do, I will ping myself. I'm going to ping my IP 192.168.1.100 just to generate some packet in the network. Just to generate some packet in the network. So I'm going to check. So, so IP ARP. So there is a ARP is generated. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click this and we will wait for any R packet. If not, so I'm going to assign a IP to, to this PC and we try to ping. So I'm going to sign IP. I will go to desktop I will assign the IP same series 192.168.1.11 I get the IP this okay I got the ARF I'm looking for that one my work is done I will check what is my IPs IP config command is ip config 
okay let's see if i am able to ping to 192.168 i'm pinging to switch of course i'm able to ping to switch now there are so many other stuff is coming icmp or another. just click we'll move to this okay on clicking the rp generating more than enough i'm going to stop this i'm going to stop now let's we have two packet one is called arp another is called icmp let's see what happened to the arp I'm going to open this let me open the first packet can you read what happened everyone what is the source the pc yeah. what is the destination broadcast broadcast so ff all the ones they, this is a this is not ip address this is a layer 2 address now i'm going to show you the icmp packet this is unicast this is the example of unicast the proper ip address they given now i saw the example the broadcast this is for broadcast packet and this is uh, again we have unicast packet so you understand we have unicast packet we have broadcast packet we saw the multicast in detail in every classes we going is broadcast multi clear guys comfortable yeah yes yeah, so what are the protocol do you have studied the example of broadcast what is the example of broadcast tell me what protocol R Yes, no. TV, sir, sir, TV, TV. Sorry? TV, no, sir. Cloud and TV. Yeah, that, that's, that's a one, but I'm not talking about network protocol. These are the protocol. That's a, yeah, TV is the example of the that. But if someone asks me, what is the network protocol? Any protocol which is working on broadcast, you will give the ARP working on the broadcast. Yeah, Multicast. A spanning tree protocol BPD STP is an example of the multicast. For unicast, ICMP is an example of unicast. So I do the lab and I make you an example to understand what is the broadcast in networking, what is the multicast in the networking, what is the unicast in here, guys yes sir okay next class we're going to continue with the ip addressing as well as mac addressing we will understand two different type of address and those address. okay if you have any question you can ask me okay i will go stop the session it will